Welcome to Delaware Speedway, and no, not Delaware in America, but Delaware in Ontario, Canada. Hopefully I get the race here in real life. So, Diego Dafton and Cole Mc... Drivers, start your engines! I'm a really bit suspicious of that name. I think I've heard of it before. Let me check. Okay, engines already fired up. Pace car's already in, here we go, getting ready for the green. I know one car already has problems, green flag is out. That's the nine and middle right there. Right. Screw it, I'll check right Looks like the 19 wants to lead. Rachel Toker to the inside, nearly three wide into turn three. Side by side. Oh, a little bit of contact, oh, a couple cars bounce off the wall there. Side by side for second. Parker on the bottom, he clears. Twenty one down there, quickly jumps to the bottom. The eleven wanted to stick his nose in there. Whoa, a bit loose. I'm trying to avoid something, I don't know, but actually did the same thing. So the nine is nowhere to be seen, looks like lap down and is he still on the track? I don't know. Oh, there he is. Okay. Rachel Toker continuing to lead. Trying to scoot away from Tristan Parker in second. 21 right there in third. Josh Revelio fourth and Diego Dafton in fifth. John Mongol in the 03 is there in sixth. Followed by Joseph Curtis, Patrick New, the 17, and Austin Mongol. They're in top 10. And oh, caution is out. First caution of the day. Something happened. A couple cars damaged, and our first caution is out. The number 19 Rachel Toker is a leader. All right, let's take a look at what happened. Sam Rogers in the 16, Wash the 37. Wait, wait, okay, okay, he made contact with the five. Actually, no, he hit the wall first. Came across Mongold, and then also Matt Daly on the five hard into the wall, and got back into Mongold again. Maybe trying to retaliate, but then he gets into the wall. And he slides back up and takes out the 56 and the 16 and Sam Rogers goes for a wild ride. My god. Got on his roof. Hayden actually saved him. And got, got him back on his wheels and kept on going. Mitchell Riggs right into the back of Hayden right there. Not good. Now he has damage. So Yeah, that's our first caution of the day. Sam Rogers upside down. We'll take you back. All right, here we go. Three, two, okay. three, five. Then he came out to a good start. Cook will get past the nine before entering turn one. Parker tried to do the same thing, boy. He's gonna lose it. He's gonna lose a couple spots. He already lost one. Oh, nine in the wall. A couple more. Well, three wide, hard into the wall for Joseph Curtis. Come back for the traffic upside down. Big wreck! Another car blowing up. That's 37. Big wreck. Really big. More cars still piling in. My god, that was a wild wreck. Second. Oh, Yeah, second caution of the day. We'll take a look at the replay. So, Joseph Curtis in the 10 was on the bottom. Mongo in the middle. With the 27, the pole setter slapped the wall. And Mongo and Joseph tried to avoid it. But they still got hit anyways. And then, see, Joseph was right there. He um, slaps the wall, couldn't control it, comes right back in front of traffic. Nothing he could do, and he goes flipping. Or he just did one roll, and man, what a ride that was. A couple more drivers collected as well. That was a huge one, really big. And I have never seen a car flip like that at a short track for a long, long time. Look at that. Ten car just gets launched and you know that could have hit the fence, but the fence you could see is not along the wall, he's like in the grass. So But at least he didn't go didn't go on top of the wall. You know, that'll be a bit more scarier. So that's our second caution. Morgan McGurn most likely out. Obviously out. Another car was Joseph Curtis in the uh, twenty three who is like 
23. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. He's right there. Oops. All right. We'll take you back now. All right. The lights are off. 21 drivers left. Rachel Toker. 21. Joshua Daly. These cars in. Green flag. Nope, my team didn't get Okay, I was checking the guy's name, so. Because I know there's a real Canadian tire driver. I think we have it yet. Yeah, we have a caution. Caution is out there, and Joshua Dalio takes the lead. The nine gets a lap back, and what happened this time? Oh, one Patrick Neal after damage. He's gonna skip pit road. So then I will go past the base car. Josh Fidelio is the leader. So we'll take a look at what happened. Well, Mongo looks like he was on the 17 trying to get him out of the way. But then he had the 47 also leading on him and he goes around. He slides around. Right in front of traffic. He backs up but then... Oh, Mew got into the back of the 90 so... Not the Mongo. So I guess Mongol is, you know, still able to race, if you know what I mean. Yeah, you know what I mean. Why, why am I telling you this? So, Patrick Mew, well, there goes his car again. So, he might be heading to the garage. Alright, let's take you back. Coming to the green, 21 drivers left, Josh Rodelio, D leader, followed by the 19 of Rachel Toker and the 39 Tristan Parker. Dodges are all the top four, big fly. Triple A for a different manufacturer than Dodge. And here comes Parker, sneaks right under. He's trying to get the lead. Oh, trouble. Whoa, one car. Oh my god, hard contact. The 47 as well. Whoa, the old one tried. Oh, went right around. The nine at the check up for that. Another caution, Joshua Delio, the 11, the leader. The 39 took, finally took second. Falls, Toker, Toker falls the third. All right, let's take a look at what happened. All right, Emily Brooks and the 14, they're three wide here. Look at the 16, and oh, the 47 lost control. And oh my God, what a hit. You know, luckily it didn't hit. It wasn't like sharp. You know, you know what I mean by sharp, you know. Oh, there's actually contact. Okay, that makes a bit more sense right there because I don't know why with the 47 just lose control at that speed. Brooks was leaning on the 47 and oh, Clark Johnson also got a piece of that. And Brooks also went up high and slammed the wall hard. That opening. Locked up the brakes. Pow! I'm surprised that thing is still going. And you see the old one. He tried. But uh, he failed. He just... Man, he just drifted. He just turned the wheel all the way to the left and locked up the brakes. Yeah. Well, not trying to, well, you know, you could have just easily went to the bottom without having to do that, but whatever. We'll take you back. Gonna restart with three to go. Josh Rodelio, the leader. The old one is in second. What the fuck? How's he in second? Okay. Um. I don't know why he scored in second, but he is. His car is in. Um, scoring error looks like. Ah, oh, that's not good. Any flag. Can we hang on? Can we keep a green? I don't think so. I doubt it. The old one's actually doing a good job holding up second. Whoa, the 11 slides up the track. That's not good. Oh, the leader's wreck! Right in front. Who's gonna take it? John Mongol takes it. 
Oh, another wild finish. Humongous wreck at the end. So many cars lost so many spots. The caution flag is out. And a number 03 gets a lucky one here. He's gonna win this race unless something happens. Unbelievable. I thought the old one was gonna wreck, but not the not everyone. That sends the eleventh to fifth. Sends a lot of drivers back and a couple drivers to the lead. I mean to the front. A couple more spots up. Uh, whatever. White and yellow are out. John Mongold looks like he's gonna be the winner. And we'll take a look at the replay. I think uh well look at this. Look at the the eleven. He drove it in too hard into the corner. You can see that car coming a bit sideways. That opens the door for the 01, but he does the same thing, but he's a bit more careful because he's in the middle now. 11 bounces off the wall, and then the 01 gets a piece. He goes sliding around so close to the finish line, and the 03 sneaks right through. Oh my god, what spot was he in at, at the time? Okay, 3, 3rd, 4th, 5th. He was sixth at the time, about to lose another spot. But look what he does. The wreck in front, he sees an opening, passes Toker, it gets past Dalio spinning around, and he takes the yellow. Sixth to first in less than a straightaway. Incredible. See that one more time there? Oh man, there's going to be a lot of fights after this. And the 19 came up, trying to hang on to the lead, but couldn't make it. Mongol. Able to sneak through and take the yellow. And he's about to take the checkered flag as well. Wildest finish ever. Okay, at least in the series. So. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. John Longold leads only two laps, I think. Or three. Kosh came out and, um. Whatever. I don't know. Well, uh, let's show you the four results now. So John Mongol, Rachel Toker, Diego Drafton, Chris Kyle, Josh Rodelio, first to fifth, in like last in a straightaway again. Carter Reed gets six, Matt Dalio seven, Brandon Nicholas eight, ninth, Michael Dalio is tenth, uh, ninth, yeah, eight, tenth, damn it, the seventeen, and wow. Mew was for some reason in second, and he finishes thirteenth anyways, so because of the wreck. Parker was there like the whole race and so did the 21 of Cole Mc... something. I don't know. And they ended up finishing 16th and 17th. Disappointing. Four cars retired from the race. 20 of them finished. We'll now take you to victory lane.